can't make out the face. I'm just like, that's, oh, from the front. Because from the back, it didn't look like yeah. it was like T Souls necessarily. T Souls has that, like, I guess a bit slightly, like, it's longer, the Max Ketchum straighter hair. It's the Max Ketchum hair. Yeah. Shout out to Doom. <laughs> All right. Today we learned I don't know anybody's face, I just know their hair. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can't see my hair. Yeah. Well, you have a hat. Your hat today. I'm, I'm wearing a very specially named hat I cannot say on stream because that's not esports. Right. But it's what I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Sparky. Sparky's Fox. He's actually Pikachu. I'm just kidding. So, I'm just so kidding Sparky's you know Redeemer ZZ who plays Pikachu. All yes. right, we got it. Wait, is he Redeemer ZZ? <laughs> he had a, the tag was on when they were waiting. Oh, no. No, we're five. We're five squared. Five squared. Like, what number are you? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm five squared. I'm five, you mean, you mean 25 Sparky? No, I'm, I'm five squared. Is, is this supposed to be five squared? Yeah, it's five squared. I'm, I'm just, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And we have classic Sparky SDs and uh, hand warmers. I think, uh, I think, yeah, okay, pointing out to me that uh, Sparky SDs always come after uh, Skull Bash. So you can always tell when he's gonna SD. That makes sense because uh, I think um, either with jump or up B, like some characters have like ISA frames on moves where you can interrupt like a, like a side the side B like that before it's oh, actually there over. Oh, there we go again. Like um, Doc has that where like say you um, do a rising cyclone in the air. Yeah. If you have your jump, you can jump way before the like you do the full tumble to end the lag. Oh, cool. I yeah. Know that. So. Um, that's good because, like, when you recover with Cyclone with uh, that character, for example, because it's... Just yeah, you don't lose as much height. Hmm? You don't lose as much height after gaining it. Not only that, but he doesn't have that horizontal movement to recover afterwards, so with that jump, it allows him to start changing his momentum immediately. Sure. Alright, so, Battlefield... Uh, I, I'm okay with Battlefield, I think. I think it's an okay stage for Yoshi and Pikachu. Yoshi ha Yoshi's able to maneuver around pretty well, and then Pikachu has the platform to cancel and uh, be tricky with. I think people will put way too much stock in Quick Attack Cancel, personally, because that is not the part of this matchup that I think is hard. Yeah, I'm just saying a general Pikachu thing. Yeah, yeah. I say the hard thing for Pikachu is definitely killing in this matchup. Oh, yeah. Yoshi's just going to be all over. Sparky's going to have a hard time cornering Yoshi, especially with the, the, the jump armor at plus lower percents. Plus he's heavier than you think, like he's, he's yeah. a chip a dinosaur. And on Battlefield he'll live to insane percents. True. That used to be my entire strategy versus Sheik, was just like, go to Battlefield live forever. Yeah. Alright, getting, getting that, uh, I guess, good damage in uh, Pikachu's world, that yeah. uh, all of 40%. Uh, but, I mean, um, hey, Pikachu combos are, are very long, but don't do a whole lot. It's like Sheik, but worse. Kind of, yeah. But, I mean, he, like he has he has momentum moving around the stage. Like he's able, to, he's like doing well right now. But then yeah. Skarunk was able to break that. I think his whole gambit is like I'm just gonna move a lot. So I'm Skarunk. actually surprised. Um, Skarunk isn't throwing too many eggs. Like, yeah, I don't. I think it makes sense because Pikachu has the mobility to punish him for yeah. that across the stage. So like that's a you know good good fit plot to remember. But they're coming out now. Yeah, when he when he has the chance to. Oh, like, he goes for the raw fairs. Like every Yoshi. When he knows he's not gonna like get a hard punish for it or something. Yeah. Like like I said, just zoop zoop across the stage, punish. Ooh, what? I almost killed. At like 80. That's a good way to catch people uh, dropping shield after jab, or it is. or try to break the shield. That's, that's oh shield wow! Kill. And then messes up the tech chase read. It does. It messes up the shield break, and then you have to go for tech chase read, and then it just. Is she off stage for those jump? Oh! Is she still off stage for those jump? He has one up B left, I think. No, he had no. He he used oh, it like wow. twice. Okay. Yeah, he barely made that. I can't believe that then. Not barely, but Sparky was on him. Like the pressure wouldn't be great. Bad right. jab to up smash. Jab to smash confirms for the we kill. We melee Fox now. So 10's playing. <laughs> yeah, we got 10 back on the way back on the street. As Redeemer ZZ. As Yoshi. See, that, like like I was saying, like like Pikachu can't control Yoshi off stage because he has like that huge mobility and the like that amazing jump with like the eggs covering. Now does Pikachu's dare knock Yoshi out of double jump? Um I feel like it should. The armor will eventually wear off because it's not it's not true super armor. Yeah. It's um is it what's it called? Heavy armor? I think that's it, heavy armor. But um, I'm not sure when that wears off. But eventually, that dare will poke through and get him. But it might at first, it might send him like not as far away because like it'll just barely break the armor. Yeah. And then once it fully breaks the armor, kind of thing, and then the armor's gone. 
you'll you'll die. Yoshi's at 175, by the way. 180. This is a good stage to be on. I'm not gonna lie, Rage Yoshi's like as oh most characters are scary with Rage, but this character will like get momentum off of one like hit, and then you'll take insane damage and potentially die super early. And you get jabbed to whatever, and then you're just like, oh well. Or just just um chasing with up airs like that up air is like a whole lot better than people think. Oh yeah. It gets like de like not decently it's disjointed to an extent because like it will it will trade with only a few moves. For sure. Yeah, he's just not giving up this stock. And like Sparky, Sparky stood still for like four seconds. He was like, alright, are you gonna approach? I guess not. He doesn't have to. He doesn't, which is so good. Like but I I hate when players like don't realize that they don't have to approach. But at the same time, when a when a player doesn't approach like he did there, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to approach. Yeah, for sure. Just because he has the lead, you know? A lot of people, like, I, I read that someone say that before, and I kind of agree with it. It's just, when you get down to the, the micro, the micro mechanisms of the game, you are technically down. You do not have lead, so they can sit there as long as they want. You can't sit there at the same interval yeah. of time, because you'll lose. Exactly. But it just, you can't let it pressure you, the fact that you're down and he's standing still after a break. And he's, so this has already been going on Here, for four here's minutes. Those, here's that, um, the juggling I was talking about. Yeah, he, so he tries to read a quick attack. Oh. Also, not killing that either. He's going for like all these safety air dodges at such a huge height to try and cover like Thunder. Yeah. I feel like that Sparky just needs to be like, alright, well, I know he's gonna go for it, so just delay and chase. But then Yoshi's air ability is so good. I think that was a bait, personally. Yeah, you're right. It could have been. He's just trying to get him to swing, and Sparunk refuses to swing, which is good. No got to swing. Because now he's doing more of that, just sitting back and throwing the eggs. Good damage. He, didn't, he couldn't really do that when they were even stocks. Yeah, but the now. The punish factor was... Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's kind of bad. He's at 205. Oh, that's it. Second one? Nah, oh, oh, actually. 205 though. Gets it, finally. He came down off the platform, why? It's under a minute. He's not You're, too far behind. He's, un he's under a minute, why'd you come off the platform? He's, he's not about that sparky, like. Oh man, I would be. I love camping. I'm awful, I love camping. You you, you like to time people out with Mario in Brawl oh, yeah. even, I think, right? Uh, in Brawl I would go for it with my spark, but in this game it works. Oh yeah, because like, like you tell me, low max. I'm just a better character. <laughs> Sparky's slowly bringing it back. He's, he's got 20 back. seconds though. Are you gonna, you're gonna land me a Pikachu killing this That's next? probably why he's going in. Yeah. I mean, if anybody here knows what a timer is, it's Sparky. Yeah. Don't go off the stage yet. You go off the stage at three seconds in your Yoshi. Oh, that's there we go. That was that was destroyed as all hell. God. Oh man. Magic percent. That's probably why he got it. <laughs> probably is. So it was unfortunate. Like that was that was the main problem in that uh, match, that game. The, the Sparky was not able to take that stock off. We even have the chat saying, "Time him out. <laughs> Let's go." <laughs> All right, well, Sparong gets game one, for better or for worse. Dreamland, yep, you have that cancel anywhere on the bottom platform, so you can you can match Yoshi's movement with your own for like all intents and purposes. Yeah, it's great. Also, lower ceiling, I guess. So he's probably gonna try to go for up throw yeah, kills. Slightly. How how much lower is it actually? Because I really feel like it's not too much of a difference. It's not huge, like compared to Town and City, it's only like ten units lower or something like that. No, it's not Wait, it's lower than Town and City? Yeah, it's not a it's not a is huge. It, I thought though. I thought Town and City was like lowest. No, out of Duck Hunt is actually lowest. I from, don't believe that. Duck Hunt is lowest from the actual ground itself. That's crazy. I heard that somewhere. I haven't confirmed it myself, but that's what I've, that's what I've been told. Because that doesn't seem right. I'd be I'd be going to Duck Hunt more. I go to Duck Hunt all the time. Camp. I'm a tree. Have a good day. Or is it Sparky's definitely doing some things right now? See, I don't, I don't want to diverge from the the meta set too much, but that fair that he went for and Sparky yeah. just didn't air dodge. We're such a Yoshi fair. If I was in that situation playing like any, whatever character, that would have hit. I don't understand <laughs> yeah. why that move hits me from insane range and then they can just go I'm like, coming. okay, no air dodge needed, you know? I'm bad, Pikachu. There's that punish. That was the biggest reach. So Yoshi shield. I've actually never seen a Yoshi get shield broken. So I have no idea what their shield looks like at like maximum weakness. Um, it darkens until it gets black. Yeah, and it pops. But like how black? It's go like black, blue. like. Okay. But you will know when that that man needs to press the whole, let go of that shoulder button. Oh yeah. 
that. Heavy Yoshi, living that. Yeah. He's bulky. Ooh, misses the egg light again. Stage control. Ooh. I was just going to say, like, this is closer to kill for Yoshi than Pikachu, and there we go. Yeah, that up smash has a really good range on it, too, vertically. Yeah. That was like, so they, they the, the trick to this game was make characters stand up straighter and they get better. So work on Yoshi, work on Bowser. Yeah. I mean, ba Bowser had a bit of additional help after the initial um, surgery. Yeah. And then, then that corrective surgery had to fix the additional surgery. <laughs> so they made him ultra viable for like two weeks. Oh, is that it? Yeah, Ooh, well. Good. That's, that's good for Sparky. That, that's very good. We, we cannot have the same situation as last game. Sparky can't. We're commentating. I mean, at the same time, I, I don't I know mean, how many... situation for us, too. If, 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 uh, if the stream wants a timeout, then by all means, then that's, that's, uh, that's on them to I guess so. go for. Ooh, can't hit him out of that. Dude, that's why I'm surprised he's not throwing ace more. Like, you can just snipe Pikachu out of, like, quick attack approaches yeah, or any, like, there's, movement. And, 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 like, not a lot of his aerials are gonna just flat out beat eggs. We have a generic Pikachu combo doing Sheik's level damage. <laughs> now that's, that's, a, that's a better better damage output move. That back air is a better combo, I think. No, it is. It's just, like, when when they're above Pikachu, like, he gets the up air. Oh, yeah. You might as well go the up air. Get the 2-3% or whatever, because it's guaranteed. It's, it's low damage, but it's guaranteed. No reason not to do it. You know, trying to get a hard read at percents where it won't matter. Yeah. I mean, look at that rumble dash attack. That was, that was kind of extension. So, all right. It's a really, really long move. Two and a half minutes. Uh, Sparky's Sparky's playing right. He's playing the right game. See, now Sparky's in his own. This, I think, is uh, where he needs I'm, to, like... I don't think that's supposed to be an optimist. People give Sparky, like, a lot of a lot of crap for playing the way he does. I think the way he plays Pikachu is one of the best ways to play Pikachu. No, yeah, I agree. Just, you're going to get you're gonna get the hate. You're going to get the hate for doing almost anything. Oh, yeah, people don't understand optimal versus flashy. Well, not even that. Like, just, like, if someone has a problem and they can't figure it out, they're, they're going to hate on it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just feel like if, if camping like this looked cool, people wouldn't mind. Yeah. Because nobody can tell the difference between what looks cool and what's actually not cool. I mean, cool. I, say, I say it looks cooler than it does in Brawl because you have that potential comeback factor with Rage. Yeah. And suddenly it's like, oh, you get that small momentum string and you win out of that in your camping game because like, people go get hype over that. It's true. Or people get hype over players that don't normally time out going for the timeout. Like we, um, what was the set recently where it was a Cloud and a Sonic? Rath? It wasn't Rath, was it? Because Rath goes for timeout all the time. No, it was, um, oh, it was Manny. Was it Manny? Or Spark, I'm he sorry. Used, he used to go for timeout. No, that no, he, like, no, no Spark in a, a cloud. A I cloud. think Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King was running away. Oh, Mewtwo King timed him out? I think. Let's go. The last game of the set. <laughs> cloud timed out. And everyone was Sonic. hyped for that. Like, what? It's, it's all a matter of perspective. That's what people are going to enjoy. Alright, so a Sparky wins right now. I would I would say this this is slightly in Sparky's favor. He has a percent lead and he has Yoshi in a percent. Oh, no! He got the read and everything! Like, like I was just saying, take the damage, just take the damage, just take the damage. Oh my gosh! Why wouldn't you just even the percent out? He, he, wants, to, he wants to close the stock. There's under a minute he left! Want, he doesn't want to go into that situation where like he's timing him out. Oh, but there's under a minute left. Like, you... Not to mention, he does, he does have Game 3 in his pocket. I guess. Does he really want to play a Game 3? I mean, if you learn more about your opponent, then take that knowledge into the next game. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a run-up up smash. All right. Okay.